Hi everyone, this is Evgeny and you're watching another video from Blank Graph Advanced Series. Today we continue researching tools and I will show you a very interesting technique which you can use to wrap your tools into the human and the loop. So you can wrap any tool you want, including MCP tools, into the human feedback cycle. Join me and let's dive in. And again, traditionally, before we start in our investigations, I wanted to mention this video is supervised, is really extremely highly supervised by angry cats. And you have to check what are those, and the merch, the link to the merch is below. So give it a try and check it. And we continue. All right, so today I'm going to show you interesting technique how you can interrupt any tool, not uh, the one you created, but any tool, just like MCP tools as well, so you don't have to... You don't have to inject this uh, human interruption in the tool like we did in the previous lesson when we created a question tool. And basically I wanted to refer to the previous example we did in the lesson number four. And there, just this is the cut snippet from the lesson four, and there the crucial part was... Uh, let me just uh, compile some basic stuff. So the crucial part there was uh, we used post-model hook. And if you check the documentation for create React agent, that even for this post-model hook, they wrote that this one is, uh, it can be used, like you can see it at the moment. It's useful for implementing human in the loop cycles. And that's what we implemented last time. So let me compile it. And uh, this is the way graph or the agent looked like in the previous lessons, like number four I mentioned several times already. And the crucial point here was, just let me refresh your memory, that uh, when agent thinks that, okay, there is a tool call needed, it still goes through the postmodel hook, and this guy analyzes the list of messages, and if it sees that, okay, there is a tool call, then it checks which tool was that, and if that was a risky tool, then instead of just blindly proceeding to the tools, it interrupted the process and started this human loop cycle. So allowing a human uh, to put some feedback, right, if the tool is allowed or the cancel the tool execution. So that was the idea. And uh, I mentioned that before already. It's kind of, well, for me, you're polluting even the whole schema, this uh, React reasoning acting agent, you're polluting with some post-model hooks. Uh, maybe you have cases where it's really needed. But today I'm going to show you the way how you can completely remove, uh, eliminate this one, right, and still use it with tools. So which way are we going to use it? We're going, we are going to wrap every tool in our specific code, which uh, will be interrupting the process and asking for the human in the loop cycle. All right, so how we can do this? First of all, we are creating a wrapper, and uh, this is our add approval function. It takes a main tool, it could be a callable or it could be a base tool, and in case this is like practically we are working with base tools, so we are checking if this is not a base tool, then we are wrapping it. And this tool is uh, from Langchain Core, so we are wrapping our callable thing with uh, tool decorator. So at the end we have still base tool type. And then we are defining the function which would uh, create for us the tool, the wrapper one. So here we are taking, we are just copy pasting the name, description, and arguments for the tool because we are going to pass it through at the end of the day. Right, and here what we are doing we immediately start the interrupting process and uh, basically just to give you the feeling what we are doing, we are trying to reproduce the same behavior. Uh, here it was held in risky tools and we had specific uh, object in interruption. Posted here the tool name, list of arguments and we performed the interruption. So here in the new code we are trying to replicate the same behavior and what's happening here, we again do the interruption just right out of the way uh, once the tool starts working. And we're providing the tool name and list of arguments exactly the same way as we did before. So finally, the whole, the whole process would be stopped here. And once user response, either with approval or with cancellation, we have a decision back here. And the same thing as previously, we are just checking if this decision has the approved key. And the approved is true, then we invoke the main tool, the one that we were wrapping here. And just then blindly return it back to the thread, to the message thread of the results of this tool. Otherwise, if the decision was not approved, then we just return a message that the whole tool execution was cancelled by human. So what we're doing here, we're just then returning this uh, function and practically that's it.
Now we, we are gonna, well, we need to provide the same list of tools as previously. What's happening here, just to refresh your memory, and again, we are trying to replicate the same behavior. We had some risky tools where we wanted to have this human in the loop and we have other tools. And basically what we are doing, uh, we check the name of the tool in the lesson number four, and if the name was in a risky tool, dictionary, or set, set in this case, then we started the interruption process, right? And tools we had were lookup stock symbol, fetch stock row data, and place order. And we consider place order as being risky because it performs some real stuff, like it spends money. So we wanted our user customer to double check that everything is fine and approve it manually. And here we're doing exactly the same thing, but uh, a bit different way, right? We have a list of all the tools, and this is the same list. It's a uh, stock symbol, stock row data, place order. We still have risky tools, and there's a set of place order only a item. And then having this information, we are trying to create a new list of tools. And if the tool is a risky one, then we are wrapping it with add approval. Okay, so at the end we have a list of tools, and for those that are considered to be risky, we are wrapping them in our add approval uh, kind of wrapper tool. So far so good, right? And now having these tools, we can create our React agent and look at that, this time we don't have any post model hook, anything, we just normal list of tools. And uh, it looks the same as this basic uh, React agent, but this time we know that some tools in the list are wrapped with human in the loop already. Let's give it a try and perform the same kind of testing we did for lesson four. And I'm asking here for spending 1000 of Tesla on Tesla stocks at the current price. And so let me just run it. And look what we have. We have a user request. We have a tool called lookup stock symbol for Tesla and it returned back TSLA, so no human in the loop. Then we fetch for stock row data, call another tool and immediately it was a response from the internet with the stock data of Tesla. And again, no human in the loop, right? And after that, we have another tool called place order, but we know that this one is a risky tool and it's kind of stopped here, so we don't see any output. And our assumption would be that we have a human in the loop interruption here and we can double check it, like uh, we can check if our response contains the interruption key, it's there, and then we can print the, uh, pretty printing the value. And we can see that, okay, approval is needed. And the tool is place order, this one, as we expected. And the parameters are symbol. We have action to buy, two shares, and limit price also defined. And as usual, the way we resume it, we're just making another invocation of our agent and providing the command with resume to approve true, which means, okay, yes, we agree. I'm running it. And here we should see the continuation of this process. So let's check it together. Okay, so it's there, we have a tool call, we stopped here last time, and then after our approval process, we can see the tool message. So response from this tool was, uh, the order was fulfilled for simple TSLA, shares to limit price, and total spent uh, 850 euros, dollars, whatever, right? So it worked. And finally, we have the final message from AI that I have successfully purchased two shares of Tesla. And if I double check the response for interruption key, there is no interruption yet. So the, the, the graph finished till the end. We finished, fully finished the user request. And we can do the same, but this time we can try to cancel the order. So the same request by 1000 of Tesla stock. I'm starting a new thread here. So this is a completely new conversation. And the same kind of output, and this is expected behavior, right? Uh, the user request, uh, tool call response, tool call response with financial data. And then again, we stopped on, I'm not sure if we stopped, <laughs> let's see. Again, okay, it stopped on tool call. So it's not preceded here, it stopped and waiting for human response. And the same, I can double check it. Uh, the approval is needed, the interruption key is here. So it's interrupted, the whole process was interrupted. And this time uh, I'm resuming the graph, but I'm saying approve to false. So like kind of, no, I don't like this idea at all. So please cancel, don't do this too. It's, it's, it's good that it was a risky tool, that it's good that you asked me to, uh, about my opinion, to cancel it, to approve and I'm canceling it. And we continue the graph, the execution of the graph. And what we can see here is, uh, let me quickly through, scroll through it. Okay, here we are, we have a tool call. And look at that, uh, we do have the two message response from us, from our wrapper function. 
and uh, then he plays order and says cancel by human continue without executing that too and provide next steps and ei message uh, contains well lm didn't have any other opportunity just to reply that to buy this and that uh, you can purchase please confirm but uh, the tool execution was cancelled and again if you check the status of the graph it's finished already okay this is it i think uh, you might find this uh, technique very useful because uh, again uh, well first of all for best code practices you don't have to implement this in your tools and another better maybe use case that you can wrap with this human in the loop even mcp tools or some tools where you don't have access to them at all right there is it's not possible for you to modify the function the tool and still you have a way how you can interrupt it like add this human in the loop and just to refresh uh just to recap maybe what we were doing here we created this the the key point of the whole lesson here we added a new function at approval it takes the tool itself it wraps it uh, with the our code and what happens here we interrupt it right away we are waiting for user decision and if decision is okay we kind of uh, invoke the main tool otherwise we are canceling the whole execution and please keep in mind that uh, here i'm talking about approval canceling but in the reality you can ask for additional data for example for this tool to run to better process the result of something. So a lot of different stuff here and also the format. This is something I invented for this uh, story, for this uh, video. But in general, uh, it's up to you, the format of uh, this interruption object. All right, this is it for this video. I hope you found something interesting. You found something interesting for you and you know better, uh, you better can understand the opportunities which you can use with tooling uh, when you're building your AI agents. And it was me again, and thanks a lot for sticking with me till the end. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time in the next video about Lung Graph. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.